And welcome back to Hannity. Now we are learning more and more about the six soldiers who lost their lives and many others who were injured trying to save Sergeant Bo Bergdahl after he deserted his base back in June of 2009. My next guest is the widow of one of those soldiers, Lieutenant Darren Andrews, and she joins us now with her story. Julie Andrews is with us. Julie, thank you for being here. Um, I'm very sorry. Thank you. You, at the time when you lost your husband, you had a two-year-old boy, and I, I believe you were, what, six months pregnant at the time that he lost his, that he was killed? Yes, that's right. My son was about to turn two, and I was six months pregnant. So in other words, so... With my daughter. So three months after your husband died, you had a, you had your daughter, um, and he will never see, yes. he'll never get to see his daughter. Um, let me ask you, we just had on the platoon leaders... They say mm -hmm. that, that Bergdahl abandoned his post and deserted his platoon. And your husband was one of six people that went out looking for him in a very dangerous area. He gave up his life trying to serve him, and they are calling him a deserter. And they both said that they heard radio transmissions of him seeking out the enemy, the Taliban. How do you react to mm -hmm. that? Um, well, at first, when I heard all this news, I was very angry and um but you know I, that was darren's job and i know that he believed that um he would need to go they would need to go find him so um even yeah, though but, even though he had deserted his platoon and was seeking out the enemy that was seeking to kill each and every one of them i mean it's right it's really outrageous to me. Yeah, that I mean, I agree. I I do feel like he would have had some bitterness about it or or you know, I, but I I know that he would know that's his job and that's what he just had to do. So you know, you know I spoke to the platoon um, medic earlier today. And he told mm -hmm. me about the severity of the injuries. Um, he knew your right. husband. I asked him specifically if he knew your husband. He did know your husband. He saw the, the, uh, your husband and the other five that died. Um, mm -hmm. So here we have a deserter, and maybe worse, and the government trades for five of the most brutal, vicious, Islamic radical terrorists that we were fighting. Mm -hmm. How did you react to when you heard that part of the story? Uh, you know, I feel like it is a huge injustice to, to those men who, who fought to and risked their lives to put, to put these terrorists in jail and to capture them. Um, so, you know, I don't know any other way it could have been done, but I definitely don't agree with the decision to do that. Let me ask you one last question, and, and uh, we really appreciate you being on the program. Um, I understand the military. When, when you learned about what happened to your husband, how's the military treated you and, and your husband's parents and everybody else? Are you happy with how they've been treating you? Uh, yeah, for the most part, um, up until this incident, you know, I don't, I don't expect to know a lot of details about my husband's missions or things of that nature because, uh, you know, you just, as a military spouse, you don't know things like that. But I do feel like um, it was pretty hurtful to me to find out about this or about Darren's involvement in the search for Bergdahl and about his death, you know, being linked to that. It was hurtful to me to find out about that via the media. Yeah. I feel like someone should have told us sooner, you know, before I, I, it was released to the I, media. But. I spoke with Colonel North on the program last night. I told him about your two kids mm -hmm. and, and uh, he's going to reach out to you. They, they have a, the Freedom Alliance scholarship funds for the children of, of heroes that have given up their life for their country, including your husband. Uh, Julie, God bless you. God okay, bless the great. kids. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us and telling us your story. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. And coming up.